This video is here to help you when calculating angles around a point and on a straight line. Let's take a look at what we might already know to help us. There are 90 degrees in a right angle. It is marked by two straight lines on a corner. On a straight line, there are two right angles. This means that the angles on a straight line equal 180 degrees. If you'd like any more help with classifying different types of angles, then take a look at our angles facts video. We can use the fact that angles on a straight line equal 180 degrees to calculate the size of missing angles without needing to use a protractor. Let's take a look. In these examples, we are going to use a bar model to help us with our calculations. To calculate missing angle B, we need to subtract the known angle, angle A, from 180 degrees, which is the total of angles on a straight line. Angle B will be 180 degrees, subtract 27 degrees, which is equal to 153 degrees. Angle B is therefore 153 degrees. Let's have a look at another question. This time it has two known angles and one unknown angle, angle D. Before we can calculate the missing angle, we must first add the two known angles together. Angle A is a right angle, which is 90 degrees, so 35 degrees and 90 degrees is 125 degrees. We can now subtract this value from 180 degrees, the angles on a straight line. 180 degrees subtract 125 degrees is equal to 55 degrees, so angle D is 55 degrees. Now it's your turn. Use the fact that angles on a straight line equal 180 degrees to calculate the values of the angles marked. You could use a bar model to help you to calculate. Pause here and have a go. All complete? Well done. Let's have a look at the answers. To calculate angle G, we need to subtract 45 degrees from 180 degrees, which is equal to 135 degrees. So the missing angle is therefore 135 degrees. To work out the size of angle J, we need to first add together the two known angles. 10 degrees add 65 degrees is equal to 75 degrees. To calculate angle J, we then need to subtract this from 180 degrees. 180 degrees subtract 75 degrees is equal to 105 degrees. Angle J is therefore 105 degrees. So far, we have looked at angles on a straight line. We know that there are two right angles on a straight line, which equal a total of 180 degrees. As you can see here, there are four right angles around a point, and these total to 360 degrees, because 90 multiplied by four equals 360. We can use this fact to help us to calculate angles around a point without a protractor. In these examples, we are again going to use a bar model to help us with our calculations. To calculate the missing angle K, we need to use the fact that angles around a point equal 360 degrees. 360 degrees subtract 238 degrees is equal to 122 degrees. Angle K is 122 degrees. In this example, there are two known angles and one missing angle. To find the missing angle N, we first need to add together the two known angles. 137 degrees and 157 degrees, which is equal to 294 degrees. We can then subtract this from 360 degrees. 360 degrees subtract 294 degrees is equal to 66 degrees. Therefore, angle N is 66 degrees. What about when there is more than one missing angle? Let's take a look together. It doesn't matter which angle you calculate first. For this type of question, it can be really helpful to remember that angles on a straight line equal 180 degrees. Look for a straight line in the diagram to help. For that reason, let's work out angle O first. 180 degrees subtract 95 degrees is equal to 85 degrees. So angle O is 85 degrees. Angle P is a little bit trickier. We need to add together the two known angles on this side of the straight line first. So 26 degrees add 40 degrees is equal to 66 degrees. We then need to subtract this from 180 degrees. 180 degrees subtract 66 degrees is 114 degrees. Therefore, angle P is 114 degrees. 
Now it's your turn. See if you can calculate the missing angles around these points. Pause the video now whilst you work out the answers. All finished? Well done, here are the answers. To calculate angle Q, first add together the known angles. 170 degrees at 120 degrees equals 290 degrees. Then subtract this from 360 degrees. 360 degrees subtract 290 degrees is equal to 70 degrees. Therefore angle Q is 70 degrees. In the next question, there are two missing angles. Remember to look for the straight line in the diagram first to help. Let's find the value of angle T first. Add together the known angles, so 90 degrees add 40 degrees, which equals 130 degrees. Then subtract this from 180 degrees. 180 degrees subtract 130 degrees equals 50 degrees. Therefore, angle T equals 50 degrees. To work out angle V, we need to subtract the known angle from 180 degrees. So 180 degrees subtract 23 degrees is equal to 157 degrees. So therefore angle V is 157 degrees. Now let's see if we can apply our knowledge of angles on a straight line and angles around a point to calculate the following missing angles. Emily has been calculating the two missing angles in this diagram. She says that the missing angles Y and Z are 80 degrees for angle Y and 160 degrees for angle Z. Can you explain why these angles can't be correct? Pause the video now and have a go. Have you finished? Excellent. Let's explore the answer together. Angle Y can't be 80 degrees as angles on a straight line total to 180 degrees. 60 degrees at 60 degrees is equal to 120 degrees, therefore the remaining angle must equal 60 degrees to total 180 degrees. Angle Z can't be equal to 160 degrees as angles on a straight line total 180 degrees. 160 degrees at 34 degrees is equal to 194 degrees, which can't be correct. Angle Z equals 146 degrees. I hope that this video has helped you to deepen your understanding of angle facts. If you're looking for any more videos just like this one, make sure you head to the Twinkle website to check them out. See you next time.